Okay, so here I need eight rows of the rice uh, meat. Approximately is seven centimeters. One finger of mine. <laughs> oh yeah, and don't worry about those hairs that you sometimes need. And you know, this depends on how large you want your um, age of your sweater. That depends on you. So, okay, in total it was 8 rows. Now we are going to proceed with our principal needs of our sweater. So the first you gotta do, you have to pass one stitch. And then you are going to insert your needle after the third stitch. One, two, three stitch stitches, and then you insert the needle and you pull through your yarn. So you pull it through like that, and then you're going to need the next three stitches. You're going to need them in normal knit. One, two, three. Sorry about my dog is eclipsing the light. And there you're going to do the same. Insert your needle, pull through the yarn and knit three stitches. One, two, three. And that's how it looks the main knit, the beginning. This is you're going to this is what you're going to do in the first row. So I meet you at the end. So here I'm almost finished my first row. I'm going to do the last three the same. And three. And then the last one. I'm always, always, always going to knit it normally, remember. This was the first row of our main knit, of our pattern, the Fay pattern. Okay, the second row. This knit is not reversible, so it has just one side. So this, you are going to do it, everything, everything, everything in pearl. So everything, everything in pearl. But you have to be very, very careful in this little trick the last two stitches the one that you know they look to, like together you're going to knit them together like a whole one you see that here is where you did the like the loop you have to take them both like both together and that way you're not going to get more stitches you know what i mean so first one pearl second pearl and then you're going to take this whole two you see you can see they look like together and you need them together okay again one pearl second pearl and these two together these are just you are just going to do it in the second row of your pattern okay in each in each like sets of stitches you're going to do the same you can see in this second row see next one pearl pearl and take those together and you are going to do all the row like that so here i'm finished i'm finishing my second row remember that the last one you're going to need it normal and then you turn around and then we are going to start this third row. The third row is super, super easy. You are going to do knit everything normal with knit like normal. And everything knitting normal. And there you go until you finish your third row. Okay, so. I finished just I just finished my third row 
And now we are going to do our fourth row. The fourth row is super easy as well, it's everything with pearl. The first one you pass it through without knitting and then all in pearl. Here you are not going to knit like two in one or nothing like that, no. You are just going to knit each stitch normally in pearl until you finish your four row. Here I'm finishing my four row, my fourth row, and the last one in you knit it normally, and there you go. This is how you knit your main pattern. You can you make this pattern in four rows, and here we finish our main pattern. Now what you're going to do is exactly the same. Repeat the pattern, repeat these four rows that we just made. Okay, so here I already finished what you have to knit from the edge to the, um, to the border. In total I made 64 rows. Do you see? It's from the edge on, until your arm hold. In centimeters, it is 50 centimeters. I really like the like uh, large sweaters. I don't like them like until my hips. I want to like a little bit further my hips. So yeah, this is the size, the number of the rows that I made. And you are the ones that you're going to need them like the pattern, like the main pattern. What are you going to do next? Now we are going to do the arm hold, which is from the arm hold to your shoulders. And you are going to do this doing, doing decreases. So I'm going to decrease four. Uh, 13 stitches okay so let's start with our decreases first of all you pass through your first stitch like normally like you always do and then you're going to start with the first decrease so first you need the first one like normally and then you're going to pass through like below the first stitch this is the first decrease and then you are going to do the second decrease so first you need one and then you pass through the one before the stitch before this is the second decrease the last one the last decrease you need one and then you pass like over the last one over the one before over the last one can you see and there you go you have the three decreases now we are going to end our row with our like normally how we normally are knitting so for example here i'm going to knit all normal and then until you finish row your row here i'm finishing my row the last knit the last stitch sorry you knit it normally then you turn your, oh, be careful. And now we are going to do the second decrease. Here is our second row of decreases. We pass through the first stitch, then we need, even if you see this row supposed to be in plural, the decreases you're going to make them in like normally so you need one and then the one before you pass it over second decrease you need a normal you pass the last one before over and third decrease and there you go we did three decreases you are going to finish your row like normally like how the sweater demand you here is for example this is just in pearl all in pearl so
so this is the third row of decreases I'm finishing it the last one you need it normally you turn it and we are going to do or four row of decreases okay we are going to decrease again three three stitches so we are going to do one decrease two and three and there you go your three stitches in decrease you finish your row here I have to do the decrease like the normal one and you finish it and I see you at the end here I finish my fourth row then you turn on you turn your sweater and we are going to start our five row of decreases in this fifth row we are just going to decrease just two stitches as you can see you can start to see your arm hold you pass through the first stitch and you're just going to decrease just two so one and two perfect and there you go you finish your row like it asks you your main pattern remember you have to keep following and I see you at the end of the row here I'm finishing the last the last stitch you turn your sweater and now you're going to need just one decrease okay so you far you pass through the first and even if in this row you're supposed to do it all in pearl the, the decrease you always do it like needed normally so we just decrease one and you keep following your knitting here I'm finishing the last stitch of the sixth row you turn your sweater and now I'm going to decrease just one just another one and there you go and you keep following what you keep following <laughs> okay here I'm finishing at the end when you supposedly to do you know like the loop of the main knit like I decrease at the end I don't have the enough stitches to do my my main knit so you, what are you going to do is just knit them normally and don't do any loop over because I don't have enough stitches to do you know the loop so just do normally knitting so you turn your sweater this is the last decrease of the arm holder of the armhole sorry you pass through one and you are just going to decrease one stitch so there you go your one stitch perfect and you keep and you finish your row here I'm finishing the last row of the decreases which is the eighth the eighth row the last one you need it normally like always and okay here you can see the arm hold So this is the back, you can see, you have the armhole from both sides, left and right. And what are you going to do is to to keep following 
without the creases just kneading normally you are going to do approximately 20 more rows but with no decreases just normally just keep knitting 20 rows more of the main knit <laughs> Mora, she's always in the recording time. <laughs> okay. So, what I'm going to teach you now is how to finish this part. The finishing of the parts you know like the closing like the ending you're going to pass through the first stitch the one of the edge like normally and here as you can tell I'm, uh, I'm at the part of the reverse of the sweater and you remember that you used to knit them like together okay so it doesn't matter if it's like the left side of the sweater you must when you close your stitches you must close them like in the right side and like I just did in the last row I just did the loops like in the back side you must do it you must do do them together so we are going to count like this was like these were just one stitch no no two because it was the one from the loop so okay this is one this was one decrease one one closing so you take one you knit it in right and then the one before you put it over okay you need one like normally you need one and the one before you put it over it looks like a decrease can you see okay so this one so it was a stitch from the loop you take it together so you need one and the one before you put it over and this is how you're going to finish all your back all the back of the sweater I miss one there then I have to go back but hopefully it doesn't happen to you so basically that's how you finish your part of the sweater and here as you can tell I I close here all my stitches And now you're, what you're going to do is just to cut, to cut the yarn and make a knot. You know, this is how I do it, just simple. And there you go. This is the back of the sweater. Here you go, one arm hold, the other arm hold, and you you are done with the back of the sweater. And now let's do the front part of the sweater. Keep watching! <laughs> 